talking about the three wheeler the quadricycle has been the the focus uh, and uh, it's it's been a year of battles raji for you you know mm -hmm. from, from the union issues to the the uh, uh, a large part of the industry taking up cudgels against the quadricycle but you've also had some victories on both ends uh, my first question is on the quadricycle what is the rollout plan what is the status right now and is that going to be the big game changer for uh, bajaj auto in the coming years well as of now what the center has to do the ministry of road transport has to do is to issue a final notification in this regard so although the quadricycle seems to be a given um, as a principle but we have to see the final uh, notification including all the final specs i am given to believe that this could happen sometime next month um, and hopefully it will once that happens i think one of two things can happen after that one everything goes smoothly from there onwards and one by one each state each state transport authority rto kind of approves this category fixes the fare for it because it's neither a three wheeler nor a car so they need to make up their mind about how they want to treat it uh, and then we start producing and selling that mm. but it could also be that uh, uh, some competitors uh, may not uh, uh, may not be happy with that uh, and may wish to uh, wish to continue to debate this matter uh somebody could take it to court for example uh, and whether then that would be disposed of in one week one month or one year is anybody's guess mm -hmm. what we can do is this once we know the final specifications uh, via the final draft notification uh, via the uh, via the final notification then we know what it means for our product to comply and if necessary we have to make some changes we will do that so we are production ready if for some reason we don't have approval in india we will start with exports because 60% of the three wheelers we make are exported mm. and i don't think there is a single export market where the three wheeler is welcome uh, where the four wheeler is not okay, welcome okay so what is the what is the barrier to your exporting a quadricycle right now can you not do it i mean are you waiting for specifications from other markets as well what is the status of that we are only waiting for uh, indian uh, specifications to be finalized Uh, because for a lot of these markets that we export to uh, india does become the reference point because all sure. said and done india is perhaps the largest maker of three wheelers in the world bajaj certainly is the largest maker of three wheelers in the world also uh, if we were to start up exports and say 6 months down we were to come across uh, some specifications for for which reason we had to make some modifications it could be in the engine it could be in the frame of the vehicle or in some other aspect of the vehicle it would be enormously disruptive not only it would mean stopping production modifying things and etc but also in terms of future service and parts it would have a lot of implications so on the balance we chose to wait see the specs finalize the product once and for all and then start okay how ready are you to start rolling it out once the specifications come what was the time frame that you're looking at when can one expect sales to start really happening i mean are, are the initial you know uh, steps already taken take us through that trajectory assuming you're looking the, at exports yeah assuming the uh, final notification is out in jan uh, that would mean that to put our mind around all its implications and perhaps make some changes which would be inevitable is perhaps another 3 months uh, so it would be fair to say that from april um we would be in a position to start production if by then we have approval in this market and that would be uh, uh, delightful then uh, because that would be our first priority to supply our own market uh, then we would do that but if for some reason that doesn't look like it's going to happen in a hurry then we will perhaps start with the export market like sri lanka or some such suitable market internally i know you focus very strongly on the numbers rajiv uh, and ebita margins have been something that you always did how profitable is the quadricycle because it's a unknown entity really and mm. you know i don't know what pricing i mean you know there are lots of reference points for pricing but i don't know mm. what the final price is going to be in terms of profitability how much are you counting on it and do you think internally could it be a pulsar could it be the game changer for you well pulsar and three wheelers are both very very high uh, in terms of their operating profitability so it would be difficult to beat that Uh, but certainly since uh, we would like to believe that over time the quadricycle can replace the three wheeler there would be no question of introducing a vehicle mm. uh, that uh, would be significantly lower in terms of profitability than the three wheeler uh, and here in simplistically we have to look at it in two parts initially when where all the costs of uh, development and the new investments come to bear obviously profitability will be somewhat lower but as we get past the first few thousands of vehicles and the first year or so 
uh, then it must uh, give us the same bottom line that a three wheeler does you know otherwise uh, uh, it might be a great product and a great strategy but it would not be meaningful to the company you're not overly attached to it you to what to to making the re60 work and make it profitable because you know somewhere down the line there is a certain amount of detachment also with you so i mean you know you, are, are you emotionally attached to this because especially because you fought a battle against pretty much most of the industry on this through the year yeah, i think um, uh, the industry reaction is basically from two sets of people a those who are three wheeler makers who don't like the idea of somebody getting first to market with the four wheeler and i say fair enough i mean perhaps if i was in their position i may have reacted in a similar fashion because uh, after all the, that is the competition and secondly uh, perhaps some car makers who are relatively uh, less secure than others uh, see it as a threat to cars although i personally do not believe uh, even one uh, car in tender uh, will stray and find his way into a quadricycle showroom i think the 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 merit of the proposal is simply this that as much as uh, gillette can go from one blade to two to three to five in its quest to make a better tool with which men can shave uh, i think in the same way uh, you know ultimately i think it is not relevant to be dogmatic about the number of wheels i mean i could put 10 wheels on a three wheeler tomorrow why should anyone care you know as long as the customer is happy uh, so if the three wheeler goes from three wheels to four wheels um i think it's it's outstanding uh, for those who use that transport in terms of its pride prestige safety and comfort and that's all we are trying to do and i think both in a business sense and uh, and also beyond business in that sense i mean we are fortunate and privileged to be the world's largest three wheeler maker uh, you know what better contribution can we make than to put a four wheeler in the market